Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 1st of December. We have new mods and we have some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Case Steiger 9300 by Kesarias Modding and RD Allen, the Modular Map by Fernand24, the Pottinger Jumbo Combiline by Melody98, the Lone Oak Pig Farm Pack and the Lone Oak Cow Husbandry by GeForce Modding, Auction David, Bullet Bill and Lone Wolf, the Randon Rhodotrem Bulk Carrier Line R by Eric Isaac Agro Mods and the Randon Bulk Carrier R Line by Eric Isaac Agro Mods and the Cramp Big Body 700 by Rick Black Labelle TWD Modding have all had updates today. First up then for the mods, I'm going to get this out of the way now this is the single family house 2 the sequel if you recall we had one of these recently by gold fox unfortunately and this is no disrespect to the modder it doesn't prove that sequels are better than the first it's incredibly well detailed great textures i think pretty much the same as the first one of these we had looks very very nice it is a single family house second version or number two of these um, we do have a couple of light switches outside which turn on let's do it there we go turns on the light up there shines a patch of light out here and then we've got one here as well which turns the light on here which is lovely now this is a decorative object only you can't go into the house it's not a sleep trigger nothing like that it's 23.28 megabytes download and 34 slots for the first one. So, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's lovely. You know, it looks great. The detail is amazing. Um, I know when the first one has come out, a lot of people are trying to keep slot counts down. You know, people are trying to find that balance between nice detail, adding extra things in. But, you know, so unfortunately, I don't know how people are going to react to it. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. Um... That's the slot count and the megabyte download. You'll find this under placeables and miscellaneous. 25,000 to buy. Once you've bought the first one, slot count does come down to two. So there you go. That's the single family house two by Gold Fox. Moving on from that. Oh, actually, behind me, what have we got? This, we've got the fence. This is a fence section. Uh, this is by JG Farms Modding, 0 0.95 megabytes download, one slot, fairly chunky, which means you can link them together fairly easily, and that's what it's designed to do. You make up a fence, unless you just want to put one as a talking point somewhere on your farm, it's entirely up to you. This you will find under decoration, there you go. 100 for each panel, one slot. There you go. Moving on from there, we have got this. Well, this is actually, these are two separate mods, but by the, they are by the same modder, and as it turns out, they work with each other, but that's by the by. This is the Art Mechanic 21 ITR. This is a fifth wheel attacher, or if you've got a dolly, IT runner trailer. That's what it does. Uh, these are both by Vanquish081. The IT runner bed is nine slots. But then there's a separate mod, but it will attach to it, is the animal transport kind of module, I suppose. Uh, it's the CSP32. That's 11.15 megabytes of download. That's 11.64. Nine slots, 11 slots. Really nicely detailed. Now, in case you're wondering, it doesn't only work with that. I have tried it with a couple of other IT runner modules, and it works perfectly well. I didn't have any issues with movement, or although one thing I did find strangely with this, which is from the same modder, when I dropped it down, as I brought it down from the main sort of shop, from the animal yard as well, getting some animals in it, when it touched the floor, it swung to the side, swung, 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 did, swung, swung to the side. As you can see, it's not level with where I tried to unload it, which I thought for the animals inside probably wasn't wasn't too great. But 
you'll find the first of these, the IT runner bed, under tools and under trailers. There we go, the AM21 ITR, 59,500. And like I say, nine slots. For that, we have some options available. We can change the rim color to anything on that palette. We can change the main color. No, we won't change the main color to anything on that palette, like so. Changes the chassis and frame and whatnot. And then we can have Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, and back again. It just changes the um, tire type. There's no actual option on changing widths or anything like that. The trailer ball comes as a wide standard, Michelin is a wide standard, and then the lizard comes like so. And then for the other one, I might as well do them both together, it just makes more sense to do it that way. You'll find these also under tools and under animal transport. There you go, the CSP32, 28,500. This will take six cows, 12 pigs, 14 sheep, and 15 horses. Well, I'm surprised it takes so many horses, but not as many cows. You'd think they're about the same sort of size. That's what it says. Uh, right, so, options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so. What we'll do... So I say, it is designed to go on a fifth wheel for a lorry attachment, but if you've got a dolly, you can use that instead. We'll hook up to the animal one as well, so we'll look at them both together. L1 and X lifts up. So I always thought, because we had this on 17, didn't we? And I thought, if you if you've got animals in that, <laughs> mind you, I don't suppose you would want to pick it up with animals in, would you? I don't know, it's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Um, you can load it and unload it in this position. For example, actually I will show you in a minute, but if we go uh, L1 and side on the D-pad, opens the cover. Now it doesn't come all the way to the floor, so that is designed to be on the floor when it loads or unloads. And with it driving, I haven't noticed, I tried, like I say, a couple of different IT runner backs and I didn't notice any movement or falling or anything like that. Lights on the IT on a base. There's any beacons on any of this, are there? Nope. Indicators in the back as well. And we come to unload. We'll see if it does it again. I hope it doesn't. It helps sometimes to move forward when you do it. But it was just when it touched the floor, it just seemed to go a little bit. Yeah, look. It doesn't quite touch the floor first, and then it. Hmm. That's a bit worrying. And then, no disconnect, like so. Mm, yeah, it's weird because I, I put a grain back on it and the grain back didn't do that. So I'm wondering why it's doing that. Anyway, we will come back to that because I'm going to use it to unload, or maybe I will, just to show you that it will work from the top of the bed to unload. So there you go, that's the Art Mechanic 21 ITR and the CSP32 from Vanquish081. Moving on, we have got this. This is the Zetor, Zetor Crystal AT11. This is by Pushcap, Cashdown18 and Vauxhall. It is 29.08 megabytes of download, 17 slots on console. I will say though, of a lot of the Zetors we've had, this is incredibly well detailed. All the detailing on the engine, often you'll get kind of a, almost like a slab inside there, which is coloured, and you've got all the kind of shape of the engine. But there is a lot of detail in there. Now I think another thing that's going to take up a lot of the megabyte download and the slots for this one as well, there are 23 different light options on this which was mind-boggling. I'm not going to go through them all to show you, but as you can see, there's two there. I've got two there with the indicators on. I've got one set up there with another set above. I've got a set here and a set up there. I think that was option 23, and there were various different options of up and down and one set and two sets. and So there are quite a lot of options to go through. Front weight, um, there is a front loader attacher, 
uh, some other bits and bobs. But yeah, it's a very nice looking mod with a lot of detail. This you'll find under vehicles, under small tractors. 35,000 to buy, 80 horsepower. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Like so. We can change the design colour to anything on that palette, which changes the framework and the kind of the metal work around the engine, that kind of thing. Uh, then NG, uh, wheel setup, we have got Trelleborg, we've got Michelin, we've got Nokian, and back again. Under Trelleborg, we've got standard, wides, wheel weights, narrow tyres, wides and weights, back to standard. Under Michelin, we've got standard, wheel weights, and back again. And under Nokian, I do like that tread, I think that's what I went for, that Nokian tread. We've got Nokian, standard, and then, com uh, sorry, wheel weights, then communal, and back again. And I think we're back to Trelleborg again, yep. Then we've got light settings. And like I say, to, to look at all of these light settings, some of them are so, it's hard to tell what changes. We go for to one, obviously we're taking those lights off the side of the engine area, down onto the front. Then setting two, put some back up and add some more up on the wings, up on the front and up on the back. Then three, changes it from the wings and puts some more down there four like i say there are so many if we come back around to the back here we've got some down here but not up there as we go through it they flick on and off all over the place and the same as here <laughs> there were just so many to go through honestly it's mad um and then we got mud flaps so at the moment we've got no mud flaps Mud flaps, yes. I tell you what I do like is when you drive that, those mud flaps actually swing independently. So if you go left or right, you get one moves forward, one moves back. A very natural kind of flow to those, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, then we've got old type sticker, which puts a little sticker down on the front of the engine, just there. Then we've got new type sticker, which does that. Old type sticker with the long mud flaps. New type sticker with the long mud flaps. And then back to no again, which is no sticker and no mud flaps. Then we've got the option of weight, nothing on the front, small, average, big, back to no. Front loader attacher, yes or no. Those are all the options available. I think it sounds great. Horn. And also I think I went for the package that had the most light options. So, as you can see with them all on now, I've got the ones down there, plus the ones there, plus two sets up there, plus a set above the lights here, and a set up there, which was, I'm pretty sure was the most you could go for, I don't know, anyway, it's, that's what I went for. Fan spinning in there as well. In cab, again, really nicely detailed. The dials look glass. That's what I think is amazing. Just when you get the light shining at just the right angle, they look like they've got a glass covering on them. Very nice mod indeed. There you go. That's the Zetor Crystal 8011 by Pushcap, Cashdown 18 and Vauxhall. Which moves me on to the next of the mods, which we'll look at using this. This is the Marsha San... DC A2MC 7500. I, I'm sure, I'm sure there are modders out there at the moment who are bringing out the same mod and just changing letters here and there. I, I thought, again, I thought I'd already done one of these, a Marsha San one. And I checked in the mod tab and couldn't find one. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I overlooked it. This is a lime or fertiliser spreader, 7500 litre. Alright, I think that's supposed to be DCA MC squared, isn't it? MC2? Because the way it's written down in the mod tub. DCA2 MC. I don't know, maybe it is. <laughs> I think it spreads out to 16 metres. I've got lime in it at the moment, I think. So we'll do one or the other. This you'll find under tools and under fertiliser technology. 38,000 to buy. Fairly 
pricey, I guess. Yeah, 16 meter spread width, 95 horsepower required, runs at 7 miles per hour, and we'll do lime or fertilizer. Now, this is only an 80 horsepower tractor, but I think it will work. There we go. So what it should, and as we're driving the Zetor as well, you can also get to see the kind of movement of everything on the Zetor. I don't I like. Very cool. So there you go. That's the, however you want to say it, it's the Marsha Sand DCA2MC7500. So I say it's 3.56 megabytes download. Probably forgot that bit, sorry. Four slots, and also who it's by would probably help too. Um, that's by JV3D Modding, FBR Modding. You think it would be a simple process of just running through each one, saying the name of it, saying it, and I get into doing it and then forget certain bits. I do apologise. Um, yeah, JV3D Modding and FBR Modding, four slots, 3.56 med mega megabytes, not megabytes, megabytes to download. Uh, next, we'll do this one because I'm going to need the tractor. Next, we've got this. This is the Joskin Solo Disc 5160-24SDH. This is 5 megabytes download, 9 slots on console. It's by DMI 20mm Normandy and Luca Modding. This is an attachment to go onto slurry tanks. So not necessarily a slurry spreader, but any of the ones that will take an attachment on the back. Um, that's what this is for. Now this is not a cultivator though. If you look here, looky here, if you look here, we've got discs. And this is literally an injector. The bits on the back here are where your slurry or digestate comes out. The disc just slices into the ground so that when it puts the actual um, fertilizer down, it goes into the ground rather than just sort of lies on the top. That's what it's designed to do. Very nicely detailed, loads going on on that. So, this you'll find under slurry tanks. Uh, so we've got a few options for different bits of equipment. And there are loads of modded ones as well that you can just put attachments on the back of. So there it is, the Solo Disc 5160, 24 SDH, 25 grand to buy, 5.2 meter spread width, runs at 10 miles an hour and requires 100 horsepower. We can change the design color, which changes the hoses like so. Main colour changes the frame. Now we can have it as a kind of a yellowy brown, almost like a rust yellow really, or galvanised, which is what I went for, but whichever one you rather. Then design, standard or normal attacher size. There's a tiny little bit of change. It kind of puts a ball joint on the three-point link down the bottom, but that's all really. If you zoom in, I can't get any closer than that really. That's all it does when you change that attacher. So what we'll do is grab this. Hook up, pipe attaches so it hooks up to whatever you're using it with. Open it up. So the moment is up. Now that's very low. Hmm. And away we go. Injecting the slurry as we go. So there we go. That's the Joskin Solo Disc 5160 24SDH. Let's turn that off from there. And then move on to the next of the mods, which is this. We have got the Lizard MJ CG 9.52. What is it to do with? <laughs> Nothing seems to have a normal name. It's all just collections of letters and numbers today. Um, the Lizard MJ CG 9.5D. This is by Holtz FS. This is an auger wagon. 
9.5 tonne pipe open and closed L1 and down the D-pad will open and close the pipe there's no adjustment on the pipe once it's up it's up you can't adjust the nozzle or anything like that this is 13.34 megabytes download 11 slots on console nicely detailed there's a couple of interesting tire choices on this one that's the full tread you have a worn tread one as well so I suppose over time you could swap them out and you know, do the whole kind of the tires have worn as you go um, it holds just over 10,000 what was it 10,000 litres 10,810 litres is what it holds it will do your regular auger wagon crop types seed and solid fertiliser which is what auger wagons generally do like I say nice looking bit of kit we have quite a few of these recently from different, various different modders uh, this you will find under tools and auger wagons There you go, 28,500, 10,810 litres, as I said, requires 100 horsepower run, will take regular cereal crop types, corn, seed and fertiliser. Options available, we can change the main colour to blue, we can change the design colour to grey or white, which is the rims. Then we'll set up, like I so say, we've got default, worn, so same treads, just worn down, or low grapple tyres which is slightly wider, slightly lower profile. Well, maybe not just a bit wider. There we go. Those are your options. Turn that off. Moving on from there, I think. Yes, one to this one. Right. This is the open cow pasture. This is by Dirty Tractor Doctor. Now this and the next one we're going to have a look at, which I think are the last two mods. Oh no, one more after that. Um, these are designed to be used primarily with seasons because these are pastures. These are for grazing animals. They're not for production. So this one, the open cow pasture, you have. There's no clean up. They don't make any mess. But you get no milk and you get no manure. I'm assuming you also don't get any slurry because I don't think there's anywhere to collect slurry from either. So this is literally to put your, your animals out, to fatten them up if you're doing beef herds or if you're doing, if you're doing a dairy herd, you're better off using a pasture that will still allow you to have milk. If you still want to fatten them up, but you, you want to go through the motions and take them out to a pasture. Um, this one, it also it has on the picture, it has a water container thing there, but that might be for the PC version. The bedding trigger was just about here the feed trigger i tried to put top mix ration in this because i know weirdly if we go into because i'm doing this on normal not on seasons that's probably why but if i go into my menu no if i go into my menu and look at the animals and they're the cows brown it does say total mix ration hay silage or hay pellets pellets or grass Salt mix ration, I couldn't get to go in at all. I couldn't, I couldn't, I went round around this, I couldn't get a trigger to come up to put salt mix ration in at all. In the end, I bought over two hay bales, which went in there no problem at all. But obviously, you kind of salt mix ration bales, so yeah, couldn't get those to go in. The water trigger was just here for these water containers, which was absolutely fine. But I, yeah, so bedding was okay. I could put bales in, but I couldn't put any CMR in. My dialogue box is just here, and this will hold 50, so it will do 50 animals. Now, strangely, when you place it, the pasture bit comes out to here, but the nav mesh must come out further, because obviously, as you can see, the animals have come out further than the actual placeable section. So you really do want to try and place this on as, as flat a field as you possibly can, otherwise you might have a few issues with it. Um... But yeah, I mean, in essence, that's that's what it's for. It's um, actually, I'm not gonna. I was gonna bring over the animal trailer. Just need to say, I, when it was on the actual IT runner bed, it does unload into the trigger, no problem at all, without being put on the floor. But you can put it on the floor and do it as well. Um, so yeah, that's the um, open cow pasture. 
by Dirty Tractor Doctor. 2.98 megabytes, five slots on console for the first one. You'll find this under placeables and animal pens. So there you go, beef, cow, pasture, 10,000. That's all it costs to place and it will hold 50. It doesn't take up a huge amount of room, so you could you know, maybe put two or three of these on a fair size field, couldn't you? If you want to get your animals out to pasture. So that's the open cow pasture. Moving on from there, we have got this one here, which is the cattle barn with straw stage. And this is an interesting one as well. Also designed primarily to be used with seasons, I would say, because this one as well, you get no milk. There's no milk on this at all. Um, but you do get manure. The manure comes out the front of the trough here onto the floor, which then needs to be cleaned up. We do have light switches here. And there's one at the other end as well. But what's quite cool about this as well, because it's with a straw stage, you have got like a hayloft, which is in essence a stage up there. Those bales I put up there, they don't come with it. So you can put your bales up there out the way, which is great. Feed trigger is along the front here. I found that again. The trigger was really finicky. Um, I had to come right up against here and turn at a slight angle. It may be better off with trailers that tip left or right. I was using a rear tipping trailer, so maybe that could be what was causing it. Um, I was hoping I'd have some feed mess on the floor by now, but I haven't. Um, here is your water point. And I think that's going to be your slurry point. So if I check on the menu here, we go down to brown and white, which is what we've got here. It does say slurry, 15 litres. It doesn't say any manure yet. That's because there's no straw in there yet. That's why there's no manure on the ground, because I was going to show you that. Um, so I think that's your slurry point. It's the only pipe I could find all the way around. This is where you can put hay bales in for feed. So you can put hay bales in there for feed, as well as having the feed trough. As far as putting straw bedding in goes, you can use a straw blower. But what's also very cool is up here on the stage, up the top there, on this end section here, you can put bales into there. And I assume the premise being that they kind of get scattered over from the top when you want them to. So what we'll do is... This is one of the bale grabs from the straw add-on. There you go, so just took them away from at the top there. And you can see we've got straw inside. All very nice, so we should start getting manure in a minute. The door does open here. If you want to go through into the pen. This will also hold 50, I think it's 50 it holds. Yep, this is by City Farmer. 7.01 megabytes of download, 13 slots for the first one. But there are two of these in the pack. I think the trigger's right there. There we go. There are two of these in the pack. So there's this one here with fencing. And you've got this one over here without fencing. It's exactly the same one. It does exactly the same thing. Triggers are in the same place. Oh, there we got a bit of manure on the floor. Look. That's because I put I tested the straw on this one, so I could then do it on that one. Um, so yeah, there we've got a bit of manure. That's where the manure comes out in the front. I'm assuming you might get feed mess come out one end and manure at the other, because otherwise it'll all mix together and you can't pick it both up. Um, but yeah, so you get two of these in the pack. These you'll also find under animal pens and there we go at the end. So we've got the cattle barn with straw stage. That's with the fence. That's 80 grand, 13 slots. Cattle barn with straw stage, no fence, 75 grand, 5 grand cheaper. You see, good at maths. <laughs> also 13 slots to place. But yeah, like, like I say, you get no milk, so you, you're kind of somewhere between a grazing pasture and not. You're still getting manure and you're still getting slurry, but just no milk. So if you're doing beef animals and not dairy, it might be a nice option to go for. It doesn't take up a huge amount of room either, which is rather nice. Uh, which brings me on to, I think, can't, I mean, this might work out rather well because we've got a little bit of manure. We've got the Sweeper. The Sweeper is by Rowley Christie 1, VSR Modding Sur, 3.97 megabytes. And it's just here. Let's get this into a bit of space, shall we? 
I, re I like this a lot. <laughs> um, let's hop off. So this comes as a sweeper and then a brush attach attachment separately. Like I say, only 3.97 megabytes. Three slots for the sweeper, two slots for the brush attachment, and it sweeps up feed areas and things like that. You'll find this under tools, animals. There we go. The sweeper is 6,500. It's only 10 horsepower, but don't need to go very far with it. Six miles per hour. The brush is 300. And we've got a few options to change on here. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. And there are loads to choose from, all different ones. Um, pinky kind of purple. Um, design color changes, obviously, the other bits like so and again there's a whole load to choose from to have a look at rim color we've got a stainless steel we've got a dark steel aluminium chromed polished and then we kind of go through we've got a gold new silver and there's a whole load of you know other options otherwise we'll be here all day showing you all the various different options and then with the brush attachment we can change the main color again you can do that to match or complement whichever you've gone for with your actual sweeper. So what we'll do is hop in there. We do have a light. Horn. First person. Looks like that. Now from outside there aren't any indicators. But... If you accidentally hit the indicators from first person, listen. So if you're like me, and you knock it on and forget, that'll be ticking away and driving you absolutely bonkers. So, turn it on. And there you go. Sweep up your feed areas. Considering the slot count is only three, well, it's five in total, three and then two for the sweeper. Five slots in total, about seven grand. Small, takes up hardly any room at all, and it's quite a bit of fun to use as well. That's if you're not using these for sweeper racing or something like that, you know. It does have a beacon. Just in case when you're hurtling towards people at six miles an hour they can't get out of the way quick enough you're warning them that you're coming but I like that <laughs> and now it's another one of those ones people are like oh what's the point well, you know, but I don't know again it's just something different to have isn't it does a job anyway I'm digressing that is it for the mods I think for today I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.